Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mokulaburn. Right now, it is 1908, quite a few years after we left each other last year, in which I've basically just been kind of sitting here cutting down debt. Uh, we had a little crisis here through Thenia. I think the Russians and Germans, you know, were on one side, the Danubian Federation was on the other, so Germany now has Lower Silesia, and Ruthenia is here, which looks god-awfully ugly. <sighs> Quite disgusting, but I don't think too much else has happened. I've also went to war with Denmark. It was literally just me and my allies versus Denmark. Nothing really here interesting. So I took over Maastricht. Even though I could be saying that wrong. Wow, there's no conservative support there at all. But regardless. Um, yeah, the borders definitely look a little better here. But as you can tell, we're at war with the Chinese. Once again, because, well, we can. Uh, that was one of the comments from yesterday. Conquer more of China, or as much as China as possible. And this is very ugly, but Libya here exists as well as a primitive nation. Last time we had a good time in East Africa as well. We got some other comments to go through, but I gotta sneeze real quick. Wow! My apologies about that. Wow, British India is looking kind of wild. Not gonna lie, that is wild how big they are. But we are at war with the Chinese. We're gonna have a good time, shall we? We shall. And hopefully not have too many more communist rebellions. My goodness. I hate the rebellion so much. It's like, bruh. We already passed, we literally passed all the reforms that we possibly could, and it's still not enough to appease them. Insane. And we're doing steamship turbinos, where patriots are going to fight for our own country. Uh, let's see, I thought I had three armies around here. Maybe only two, I don't know. Oh, did we just kill, okay, we just killed them all off, nice. Let's do the same over there. Oh, hello. I didn't realize I moved you as well. We have another army being made down here. Other comments include, can we create the East India Company? Ooh, helmet mass production, nice. Uh, well, uh, someone said that yes, it's possible in HPM. I don't know if it is. Obviously, we're not playing as the British Empire, so we don't. I can't really, you know, see if we can do that or not. So, uh, but apparently, you can do an HFM and maybe some other mods as well. So that'd be kind of cool. We'll third in the still third in the world, third largest military, or fourth largest military, fourth largest industry, uh, which isn't bad. Oh, there it is. Found it. It must have been on the ship. It must have been on the ship. Other comments. Input efficiency is. Basically, when materials needed for factories goes down, so input efficiency could be pretty darn good, and output efficiency it means increases commodities produced at a factory, or out of a factory, so that's not too bad. And I wanted to get Qing or Qing Guangxi. Do we actually get something else? Ah, uh, that was, oh, actually, how much does it cost? Five, yeah. 1.2 for, that's not bad, 1.2 more infamy. Uh... It's not bad. Everything else just costs too much. I don't mind reparations, but we already have so much money now, so we're not going to do that. But eh, I'll just propose peace. Why not? I want a Qing Guangxi. It's so cheap. Oh, that's not bad. I think the next one we'll take is just West Canton, just to make it look nicer. I'm literally here just to make it look nicer, just so we can get down here and defeat some rebels. Oh my goodness, look at all the commies here. Oh, that's not good. Other, another comment said that we should upgrade our navy because we're still using man of wars yes we are which yeah man of wars part of me says don't delete them just because you can still use them but the other side of me says delete them so that'll free up a slight amount more of naval space as well as you can put them in museums hopefully i doubt it but that'd be really cool if actually you can put stuff in museums so but in the meantime i'm going to be making a, just the biggest army i possibly can and we'll probably end up in a war again with the dutch but most importantly the germans who are also to Allied with the Italians, but yeah, we'll see what happens. And here we are right now, ready to go to war with the good old Moroccans, in which, well, they shouldn't really exist, now should they? At least they should be under our administration, we shall say. Right now, I'm dealing with another uh, communist re rebellion, revolt. Um, we got a lot of stuff around here. Uh, I've actually had to combine some armies. God dang, why do the communists keep joining the army? That makes no sense. Um, yeah, I think by now I've already cleared up pretty much everything here, but my goodness, it's been revolting, I guess we'll say. Terrible pun, I know, but hey, the Battle of Robots is over. We can only have a population of only 191 million. Probably half of that is just literally Chinese, but actually, ooh, factory cost goes down. Nice. Please, I want to make more armor. I We need more armor. Oh, it's just because we can't. Ooh, the Luzon. Oh, hello. For the UK. Um, you want to piss us off, huh, UK? You really don't want to do that, UK. You really do not want to do that. Well, there goes that. I didn't realize it would turn into a great war. Well, it's not a great war yet, but oh boy. Um, I'm going to try to convene all of our soldiers close by, maybe. Especially, at least in Africa. So, maybe we can defend in the mountains up here or something like that. So, let's all try to meet up in the mountains-ish area. 
and go around this way because Africa doesn't mean anything. What matters is if these guys can come in. Like, I want them to navally invade us. I was preparing to go to war with the Germans, realistically. Hey, UK, you come land on in. Come on, land on in. Oh, Pondage. Hey. What the heck is that? Oh, they came into here. Okay. All right. Oh, God, this place is going to get taken out, too. God dang it. Oh, uh, that's okay. Well, maybe it's not okay, but still. All right. I mean, the UK wants to die in this war, so... So be it. We're going to converge on Southeast Asia and do our best, our gosh darn best, to hold out and do whatever we can. Um, I'm not really sure. Let's see. Mountains. Let's defend in the mountains up here. Let's see about that. Anyone else around here? We got some ships, too. Uh, let's see about that. Maybe we can blockade them for a while. Uh, I don't think we have any army down there. I hate the UK. We just need a really, really good battle. I hope they naval invade us. I really hope they do. Anyone Oh, hello. Get those boys in there. Uh, it's Man of War, but we're going to try it anyways. <laughs> oh, man. Mr. Cockburn. Oh, that sounds painful. Let's take a look. Oh, they're mobilizing. Good for them. Oh, man, we're losing ships like crazy. Oh, all the transports are going down. No, no. They're not losing a single ship. Of course, then again, our ships aren't very good, so... Intervene eventually. Ah, these are victorious. Very cool. Yeah, looks like we're going to lose that one, so... Alright, go, go and leave. We lost 48 ships, but I don't think a lot of them were, uh... I mean, at this point, you might as well just combine them together. There you go. Not terrible. I mean, we got rid of some of the Man of Wars, which I really actually wanted to get rid of, but whatever. Alright, so you guys come on down here too. Where are they? Converge around here-ish. And once these guys are done, we're just going to straight up annex them. Cool. Alright, UK, you wanted a war, so we'll give you a war then. Oh, there they are. Oh, there too. They're all over the place. They're like bugs. They are literally like bugs. The UK is going to die in this campaign. Or this episode. The greatest naval power. Wait, no, 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 no. How dare you? How? Okay, they're they're my goal next. I am going to smash the living crap crap out of these guys. I I don't want a white piece. Who said I wanted a white piece? To hell with the UK. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm going to make sure we make the biggest navy, the largest navy. This is a bunch of BS. You bunch of flipping bad word people. Oh, I'm going to make sure the UK is burned to the living ground once I'm done with them. So we'll be back together. I might just go to war with the German Empire, but we'll see what happens first. I'm not exactly sure who we're going to fight, or if the crisis is going to continue escalating, which it might. Hopefully the UK gets involved and we beat the snot out of them. And now it's time for another jaunt, let's say, into the good world of the Qing Empire. You know, I just dealt with some rebels here and there. Actually, it's really on Guizhou, South Zhejiang. I kind of prefer... Ching West Canton, if we could do grab that. Oh, that'd be so nice if we could. Actually, be quite nice if we could grab that. So, let's go ahead and see if we can. And will all of our allies agree to join? Yes, they will. Ah, I love it. Let's go straight on in. Actually, go right there first. And blockade them. And it looks like everyone wanted to join. Everyone wanted to join in on the fun. Because why wouldn't you? We love the Chinese here. And I hate the UK. UK has got to burn. Nice. Get those guys up there. We got to... Uh, let's see. Do other stuff. Naval logistics is done. Ooh. Modern naval doctrine might not be bad. Ooh. Aeronautics. We'll go for aeronautics. Get planes. Happy 1940. Everyone, hopefully someone important doesn't die this year. That could uh, put the world in jeopardy. Because, honestly, I've tried this once already. And let's just say the Germans are probably overpowered. Probably extremely overpowered, we'll say. Uh, which I personally think they need a nerf, or at least, at least someone else to help me take out down the Germans. But hey, whatever. Germans are too strong in this game. Ah, uh, gotta love it. Let's see. Cannons? Yes, please. Very good. Come over there, too. Thank you. And we'll do that. Not bad. Uh, not too bad. We have a full lineup around here. Put them up. Uh, Antwerp. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Off screen, I tried it. Germany is just too strong right now, so... Nothing we can really do about it. But, hey, as long as we can beat the Chinese, we'll feel good, right? Nice. Get down there. So make the board gore look nice and awesome. Oh, just kill 14,000 enemies off. Not bad. 
Anything else around here? Let's go over here. Oh, hold on. And okay. Not bad. That actually doesn't look too bad, I'd say. West Canton's looking pretty darn good. Let's go do that. And we'll see if, well, a certain someone doesn't survive into, well, I guess technically June 29th because the person was shot on June 28th. So we'll see what happens. Well, I've done it. I've gone to war with Germany and the UK and the Swiss have been called in, but we'll see what happens with them. All right, so here's the thing. I've gone to war for alsace lorraine We had to do it eventually. It's 1915, so we've got to go then. we got 3,400 soldiers versus 19, well, 1914. Wow. So it's Italy, America, Russia, Chile, of all places, Argentina, Greece, Japan, the Danubian Federation, Spain, and us versus those three boys. Now, I wanted, I absolutely wanted Russia in because they're going to take a beating. They're going to take an absolute pounding, hopefully against the Germans. I've already started moving my soldiers in. Uh, I'm going to move these soldiers down here south up to here because Germany, if you don't know, Germany has got a buttload of extra soldiers. The population of Germany is insane. So the goal is to, well, let's see, actually, oh, sorry, UK is lead. Dismantle Germany, dismantle the UK, beat their absolute booties up until they can no longer sit down, and hopefully do okay. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go, so I'm going to position these guys up here. Hopefully they can just defend in the mountains. Over here, I'm going to race our soldiers over here so we can like defend in the mountains and defend with each other so that uh, we don't end up dying altogether. Or we end up dying. If we end up dying, then we end up dying. But, you know, we end up dying, causing as many casualties towards the enemies as humanly possible. Uh, I mean, Southeast Asia, not, not looking too bad, I'd say. But at the same time, we've got to go in. We've got to do some damage here. And we're probably going to lose all these armies. <laughs> just saying. Um, but, yeah. And we're going to lose this part of China, whatever. Um, just come to Qingdao, please. Thank you very much. Uh, other than that, I mean, we're the second largest military in the world. I mean, I've been trying to push for more ships, but for some reason, these, I guess we just can get enough fuel to, you know, make ships, but whatever. I'm making as many units as possible. I'm going to destroy these guys. And you know what? I thought Swiss, Switzerland was neutral. And now they are. Good for them. Now they're trying to do that to us. Um, are we? No, we best not be attacking them. Come to Cleves immediately. Come over here. Oh, uh, move over here, move over here. Uh, actually, you guys can probably help them, these guys out. Hopefully, Germany will be mobilizing. So that this way, we can kill off as many Germans as possible. I found, I sound like Yazov right now. They started mobilizing. Yep. Liberation. We must have liberation. Oh, hello. Get on that defense, boys. Uh, Luxembourg is gone. Oh, Luxem I just realized Luxembourg is completely gone. Huh. Well, that's not good. Well, if that's the case, head on in, boys. We've got a lot of Germans to get rid of. God, I hope we can do okay here. Qui non, not bad. First victory. Hopefully, you will have quite a few of those. Even though I don't really expect it, to be honest with you. Um. Oh my gosh, you are insane. Why did you attack? Get out of there. Get out of there, son. Get out of there. I I hate the fact that you just cannot pull soldiers out. That makes zero sense. Makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Get in there, boys. Uh, get in there. Uh, where are they? There you go. Cool. No, 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 no. You German soldiers are going to have to die here. And I'm going to keep those guys here just in case we have rebels. Oh my gosh, look how many commies are in that army. Jesus Christ. Pull up some more soldiers. We've got armies for days. Well, not really. We lost. Oh, of course, we were on the attack, I guess, so. Boys go in, boys go in. Germans are extremely strong, so. Uh, let's take a look. Germany has invaded these guys. These guys invaded these guys. We need some more soldiers. Alright, 40,000. Drop them. Drop them, drop them, drop them. Get up here as well if you can, maybe. Oh, factory cost goes down. Working board of directors, not bad. Yeah, Germany's very, very tough. An incredibly tough nation to beat. Hopefully, with such low morale, we can beat them up pretty easily. But they're just shredding through our guys. Like, how are they... Sh oh, I hate the socialists so much. Why can't we spend more? Especially in times of war. I hate that so much. And we can't change our party. Come on, man. That sucks. That absolutely 100% suckerinos. Um, I'm still making more divisions, which is nice, but... Look at this. How are they... They killed six... These guys are overpowered. The Germans are overpowered, 100%. Look at that. 
50,000, and we're on defense! We're on defense! And they just destroyed an entire two, three armies. The Germans should have gotten a massive nerf, at least in terms of just def attacking or defending. These guys are still putting up a huge defense, despite us, like, having all these, you know, bonuses to us. Go in and kill them all off if we can. Denmark, yes. If you want to come into war, I will gladly include you in. Good. I'm not even focused on the UK. 18... Oh, that's in Asia, I think, so that's, yeah, that's kind of expected. You guys are doing okay over there. Anything going on over here? Not too much, no. How about you guys go this way and go right there. Take that off. They're going to take all this area. I don't really care, I'll be honest. Um... Uh, let's see. What's our supply like? We should be able to put both armies right there. That's fine. Uh, supply is like okay ish. It's not really great. Supply, it's, it's mountains, it's gonna be god awful anyway, so. Really, I'm just focused. We, we gotta be focused with this home front. Because they've already killed off so many armies, even though they're like attacking and we're defending with great stats. But somehow they just like kill off all our soldiers. How, how are we losing hundreds of a day compared to like a thousand. That makes no sense. Maastricht? Good. Kill them off. Kill those enemies off. Every single one of them. Look at that. Ben Coolin? I think that's also Asia or something like that. I'm not too worried about that one. We're going to have to mobilize probably. How's Russia looking? Oh, they're doing relatively okay-ish. These guys, it's a bloodbath. It's an absolute bloodbath. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Hold on. So we... How? How? On defense, we lose more soldiers than they lose when they attack. What type of world do we live in where that makes any sense with what's going on here? What the heck are you guys doing? What the bad words are you doing? No, just stay there. Hold the line. I hate fighting Germany so much because they're so broken. Just hold and defend. Defend, defend, defend. Unless you're these guys and you can keep attacking. These guys are overpowered. They're 100% overpowered. Why don't you guys go over here, here, here? They have no morale. We should move quickly into destroying the, that entire little group there. That'd be kind of nice. If that's the case, I'm going to send the stronger army over here because we got to go and just get rid of these guys. Uh, included Newfoundland. Uh, too bad I don't really care about Newfoundland. And America should be doing pretty good work over here. Yeah. Is Canada in the war? They're not. Hopefully, America will come over here, which I kind of doubt, to be honest with you. So, we'll see what happens. I hate the Germans. But the Russians are looking like they're doing pretty darn well. Look at that. That's not too bad. Austro-Hungarians with the Italians. Both these guys working together, finally, which is very weird. Not too bad. They're just... Quijan is in Asia, I think, as well. I'm not, I'm not concerned about them right now. Send another 6,000 soldiers down here. We lost 6,000. No more. Those guys completely died. Good. I do not want to be on the attack for any of this. So we're going to move down here. And then we're going to attack. In a much better position. We just got... I don't even care about the budget. We got 11 million in reserves. So doesn't matter one little bit. Kill every single one of them off. Oh, and Denmark should be in the war too, right? Denmark. Come on. Come on, buddies. Come on, we just got to at least get one little tile here. Please, 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 please. Yes, we got one. Throw them in. Strasbourg, good. We killed off 16,000. Battle of Verdun. Well, probably the first battle of Verdun, realistically. Throw them in. They don't have much morale. Kill every single one of them off. Every single last German you find is going to be removed. I feel. I really feel like he has off right now. Whew. That's from TNO. I, I should really say TNO. Uh, cool. Okay. About equal casualties. Salab, I hate that you just can't do this. Like, you just can't, like, go, it says, click and go to. It lied. Yeah, so I think the age is not look, going to look very good. But once Germany's done, I am, we're going to be touching some English booty here. British booty, I should really say. All right, they want to do that. Well, oh, let's go right on in. Hey, you got soldiers? No, you don't. And we're going to help throw another 28,000 soldiers down here. How about our Italian brethren? Because Germany is going to D.I.E. I swear to God, them and then the UK. They deserve nothing but death here. Yeah, keep throwing more boys in. Look, what the heck? 
Hold on, hold on, where is this? Where is this? Also, I had some coffee right before I re started re-recording. Um, so, the British are overpowered, completely 100%. Even though they took more casualties, they were still able to beat this army down here. Great! How great is that? Are you kidding me? We have the best techs for army. We even have aeronautics. And it's still not enough. It's still not enough. Find them and kill them. Every single last one of them. Oh, Britain, you should... Or the British Empire, really. You should not have hated your allies in this war. Because now I'm going to... I'm going Once we land over here, I'm going to make sure that they will lose everything they have. They're going to lose so hard, they're going to ally me when we're done here. That's how hard they're going to lose. Uh, Let's see. Come this way, and then go there. Oh, Germany's not doing well. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Taken apart by Italy, Austria-Hungary, us, the Russians. Oh, kill every last one of them. I, you know, normally this is usually okay when we when I do this, but Germany is, I'm scared of Germany. Like I'll be legit 100% honest with you guys. Germany is not easy to take out because of the, just the population size they have. So much population, and I'm saving my navy. We gotta save our navy. Uh, we have an extra army over here, but just in case the guys land over there. Also, we have some infamy just because I was justifying on Ruthenia, thinking I could go to go to war with them, give Ruthenia back to Austria-Hungary, which in which they were allied. The Ruthenians were allied with the Russians, who were allied with the Brits. Who I wanted to take out first, but I thought, you know what? If everyone's going to come in this war, we might as well all have a good time together. And uh, yeah, go go die, UK. The end. The age of the British Empire is, is over, pretty much at this point. Ooh, help the Italians out here if we can. Uh, just do that first. And that should be enough for those guys. And eh, do it anyways. Nice, look at that. Get down south. We gotta help our brethren down there. Chamol? Oh boy. Oh boy. Nice, good. Every last German's gonna have to die here. Also, if you're German in real life, I don't really, you know, want you to die, but just in the game. Probably. Probably. Oh, you want white peace? No, no, no. You Oh, no, no. You want to demand from us. Oh, you're in no position to demand stuff. Have you seen your ally down here? Have you seen how many Germans have died? I wish it was... A, is there a casualty tracker? That'd be really nice. They're just trying to get more territory from us, which I don't really care about. Okay, not bad. 23,000 versus 24,000. And they, they even have a leader. Nice. 17,000, 18,000 versus 44,000. Pretty good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and smash into somebody else here, maybe. Or we'll just stay here and just try to uh, siege him down. That's probably the better idea, actually. Smash them, smash them, smash them. I'm glad I've not had to mobilize yet. And we got a lot of artillery here. Ooh, you guys, I don't like putting two horses in a single division, but desperate times call for somewhat desperate measures. There we go. Another army's ready to go. Uh, where do we want to go? Maybe up here, perhaps? Oh, they're attacking us over here, which is not good. Oh, wait, we're not attacking them. No way. I did not want to, to attack them there. No. Good. Yeah, I've given up on Asia, as you can tell. Germany. Um, the war's not going well enough, but... Frankly, we're going to start... Once Germany's, like, fully occupied, I will make sure that we invade the UK. All right, so they're still attacking us. How are we doing around here? Any extra armies that we have lying around? Because we need help this group here. I mean, Russia is doing a great job so far. As well as Italy. Italy's doing a good job. As well as the Austro-Hungarians of the Danubian Federation. Yes, yes. Keep it up, guys. Keep it up. Oh, another army. Good. Head down here first. Bolster our Italian allies. My goodness. So many things are going on. Wow. Strasbourg? Oh, whatever. Um, up next. These guys are going to die soon. We got to get up here. Oh, crap. No. Epinal, not bad. Uh, I don't want to be caught down there. I got to help this army out up here, so. They're desperate. I think the Germans are desperate to throw in more soldiers. Oh, and they're attacking us now, huh? So which one of these armies is going to finish first? I think we have an extra spare army over here. Uh, just get all three over here, too. They're filled with commies, so I don't really feel bad about throwing them into the battle then. There goes another Adrian ally. Goodbye. I don't want to lose those armies. Yeah, Germany is focusing so hard on us. Yeah, 
they're not really focusing on anyone else too much. They have a few armies around here, but as you can tell, they really don't like the French. Which is fine, we don't like them either. Look how many armies they've thrown in here. No. No. You will die, and we will win. Nice, that was a pretty good battle for us. Oh, we lost 20. So, we were on defense that time. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. And we still lost, but hey, this is getting rid of our communist population. Even though they're still French, which is not good, but whatever. Well, good luck, guys. Seriously, we need our allies to come over here because it's too easy for Russia right now, I would say. I don't think they have that many armies around here. Minus 40%. Nice. Cut them down to size. Oh, they want Ostpreußen. Oh, boy. Uh, excuse me, sir. Have you heard about the good word? Would you like to touch naval tips? How are we doing down here? They're probably trying to beat us up right now. Yep. Called it. How are we doing? We're hiding in the mountains, I hope. I think that one will be okay. Losing $8,000 every day. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep you guys here for now. You guys have some more soldiers right there. Uh, how are we doing? Where are we at for guys? Why are we attacking? I'm just trying to reinforce, man. The Russians have shown up, which is nice. Go, Italians, go! I love the Italians. God, this is just... This is a mess. Germany is going to be an afterthought when this war is done. Oh, they're attacking us here too, huh? Can we retreat into here? Uh, meh. Oh, now they're attacking us again. Thank you, Germany. Thank you for the attacks. And I think Germany mobilized, right? Germany ha- We have not mobilized. We're the only great power who has not mobilized yet. Oh, I don't want to mobilize. That is- I mean, the economy is doing just god-awful right now. This is why I built up a massive reserve of funds, just in case. I do not want to mobilize, though. I really do not want to. Oh, these guys are going to die here. Good. Every single last stinking one of them. It's so laggy. Nice. Um, We don't have that many soldiers. Throw them in anyways. Oh, look at that. We lost nine ships. Mostly transports. Two capital ships. Get the bad word out of here, Germany. Let's go repair some of these ships. I built a bunch of dreadnoughts. Thirteen of them. The transports are just like screens, so... And another dead general. Man. This is absolutely brutal. But we're slowly taking out Germany. As they're slowly taking us out. It's okay, though. It's okay. We have our allies who will just destroy them. And I don't care about the colonies. Modern naval doctrine will be nice to get. Please don't crash. 1916. Oh, after this war. Oh, this is going to be so good. Thank God. I'm glad we had all these allies. And the Japanese are here. In the middle of... What was that? Segan. The Japanese Siege of Segan. Not bad. I'm still keeping these guys here because we have a lot of consciousness and militancy. Oh, actually, don't we usually have an event or a decision for, like, the Great War? I thought uh, we could do this one, declare a state of emergency. Oh, we need experimental psychology. Okay. That makes sense, I guess, but... Mm. Maybe not. Oh, come on. Finish these guys off. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Kill them off. Kill them off. Kill them off. Hey, you got better naval bases, maybe. Um, Build times. We get more organization. Uh, this stuff looks really good. Naval directionism. Uh, let's grab this one. Just a truly hellacious war. Come on. There's only... Th oh! Oh, God. We lost 53,000 here. We lost... Oh, God. Do not attack. Do not move that way. I'll go down here because they don't have very good morale. Where are... How many armies do we have left? <laughs> I don't know how many soldiers we have left. Uh, we have three artillery pieces, which is not great. So we have three artillery pieces. We're going to go with one, two, and then one, two, three, and then one, two. That'll be good for one more army. So we'll go one... Two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Another sixty thousand stack, please. 
128,000 Allied soldiers trying to kill off the Germans. Yeah. Western Germany, Eastern France. I mean, Jesus Christ. It is a battleground of just nothing but blood being spilled all over the place. Okay, not bad. Battle of Metz. Cool. Oh, help him out. Oh, I don't think we moved in there quick enough. Oh, what up? Uh, what happened to my army? I. Uh, wait, did they just delete my army? They literally just deleted that army over there. What the heck? Okay, well, we got no armies over here, so hopefully our allies can do well, which I think they will. At this point, Berlin's already been taken by the Austro Hungarians. Um, and I'm glad. Oh, we're actually. Look at that. Second world power. Wait, who, who dropped? Germany must have dropped. Good. Kill every single last one of them. Seriously, that's so stupid. I tried to reinforce, and then they said, nope. Is that the Dutch? No, it's Russians. Okay. Whoa! We lost all 18,000, but we killed 123,000 British boys. Was that worth it, Britain? Was that worth it? No, it wasn't for them, but I don't care. Can we propose peace yet? Oh, God. Acquire Ossoff's reign. Slow Silesia, which will give him that. Dismantle the empire. Acquire Ostpreußen. Cut the German Empire down to size. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm glad we're second world power now. Just because enemy of my enemy. Oh, uh, yeah. If you like to do battle, go right ahead. Do it? Yes. Yes, we will do this. Sweden has... I love the Swedes. Oh, uh, who are you fighting, Danubian Federation? Oh, that's fine then, yeah. Because even though we have no army... <laughs> we have very few divisions here. Uh, don't, uh, just in case rubble spawn, that's so not good to do this. But I think we might have to. Oh, are you kidding me? They reinforced as soon as I moved in. Well, at least we're going to get rid of a lot of... Why are those soldiers all communists? Battle of St. Louis. Wait, hold on. I know that's in America, but... Oh, it's over here. Okay. Yeah, Britain, you're going to get yours very, very soon. Because once Germany is fully done and dusted with, it's, it's over. It's completely over for the British Empire. Um, we're at war against Serbia? I mean, okay. They will not accept, huh? Alright, whatever. Uh, is there anyone else I can call in? No, you guys are already in the war, which is good. Oh, thank, thank you guys for helping us out here. This is absolutely hellacious. We're losing 11,000 pounds every day. Jesus Christ, that's insane. Oh, look at the Russians going. I love Russia. I love Russia. Actually, how are ships? How 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 uh, how much health do they have? Let's take a look. Uh, they're mostly pretty all good now. These guys, yeah, looking uh, except for one troop ship, but that doesn't matter. Hello, where'd you go? Support the movement, yes. Wars upon us. There we go. This is what I was talking about. Wars upon us. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead. But it is what it is. Um, what what you doing? No 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 no. Oh boy, oh boy. Can we go back to port? Alright. Well, Britain, you wanted this. Oh, we're dro we're losing ships like crazy. Which doesn't make any sense why they're not losing any ships of their own. Because we have more than enough dreadnoughts. And our naval technology is not that far behind, so... Oh, the Admiral died. Okay, this makes zero sense. What is going on? How? Their cruisers are just sinking everything. Where are our dreadnoughts? We have six dreadnoughts. We have more than six. We have more than six dreadnoughts. I made sure we have more than six dreadnoughts. We should have at least 13 dreadnoughts. Um, that's fine. We're all allied here, so it doesn't really matter. How? Cheaters. They're absolute cheaters. Yeah, the UK is a bunch of cheaters. All we have is just two techs that we need to finish up. These guys are little cheaters. <laughs> what happened to my dreadnoughts? I made 13 of them. I guarantee you I made 13. I clicked on that button earlier and said, okay, 13 dreadnoughts. 13 more dreadnoughts. Getting 26 more screens. UK, I am going to come straight for your bottle, man. I swear to God, like, they're done. I'm absolutely done with the UK. 
I made sure I made plenty enough dreadnoughts for this. I knew this was going to happen. I knew that they're going to have a bunch of ships that need to be taken out. Oh, they haven't been made yet because the game is glitched or something. Like, the game refuses to make dreadnoughts for some reason. I don't know why. Like, the construction budget is set to high. Everything's set to high. I'm not even taxing the populace that much. The death of Germany. I'm still going to burn the UK down to the ground, though. It didn't make any sense how they literally didn't even lose a single ship. So, something has got to give in the naval game here. That makes zero sense. Twenty-eight percent. Yeah, you can call on all your allies, but India doesn't matter when I don't give a crap about Asia. <laughs> Alright, how are we looking over here? They still haven't come up too much, no? Alright. So we're fighting all these. Oh, they don't, yeah, I wouldn't even need to help out. No, this is beautiful. Absolutely 100% beautiful. This is taking way too long, man. Come on. Uh, what is that? And where was this one? Kampala? Kampala. Oh, they just showed up all of a sudden. What a bunch of BS. What a bunch of BS. Nairobi? Supply limit's pretty bad. I'm just going to stay here, maybe. Let's see. What is the defense like here? Montane Force? Yeah, defense. Just stay there. Hang out. Hold out. Have a good time. Spain. So, yeah. I don't understand this. Why Why are these not being made? I've been here, sitting here for like 12 years waiting for these to be made. And none of these are being made for zero reason. I don't even have, like, trade here. Like, I could, like... Like, just buy as much as possible... But that's going to hurt our economy, of course. But then again, who cares at this point? Like, it doesn't make any sense. I even did that earlier. I tried to put in a request just to buy as much as you possibly can on the, on the world market. Still never... Didn't even get a drop. Not even one drop. It makes no sense. Man reparations, that's good. Well, Germany's dead. And we're going to full siege them out until the UK gives it up, so... Germany, you shouldn't have taken all slice of rain. But man, that game is lagging hard. Woof! I should get some industrial subsidies next, too. Oh, what is this? I eh, don't really care. Montenegro, Serbia. No one really cares. Anyone else want to help us out here? Like, guys, you got soldiers all around you. Battle of Mets finally is over. Well. Oh, don't, don't move. Don't, don't get found out now. You go there. See, this is why I didn't want you to move. Stupid cruiser. Britain. I mean, come on. That's so stupid. But, it's time to reform our army, it looks like. So, we gotta do what we gotta do, right? Expand this war, but good. Cut them down. Actually, where's the American Navy? Why are they not doing anything? How are we doing here? I'm going to have to raise taxes a little bit more. There you go. Cut social spending. I don't make money. Uh, yeah, sure. I wanted to take them out, but we need to... To violate their neutrality, we have to have a jingoist party, and no one wants to do that, so... Sure, why not? And we'll call you in immediately in the war. To see if you really want to be allies. Ottoman relations, if you like to buy this, go right ahead. Wait, we declare war on them. Oh. Uh. Well, I don't really care for them. We will defend our interests. I don't really think we can afford a war with them right now, but I can't risk my things, my stuff being lower right now, so. Let's take a look. Well, when in doubt, call your allies out. Oh, I still have an army down here, too. I forgot about that. Oh, they're still down here, too. Okay, well, go die, Ottoman Empire. I can't believe they wanted to die like this. The Ottomans, I mean, 
What a bunch of dummies, man. You should have just... Heck, you should have just joined the war. What a bunch of dummies. The Russians. Uh, Denmark. We'll call them Denmark. Not like they're going to help out that much. But hey, I'll still take them. Form an alliance? No. Is Norway with us? No. Hey, who else is with us? America. Good. Brazil doesn't care. Uruguay. Oh, actually, you guys too. Rallied with the communist Argentinians. Alright, thank you. Jed. Yeah, this is this is not good. Oh, we still have an army over here. Uh, I'm not going to move them because they could end up dying over there. So we'll see what happens. Hey, nice. There you go. They should die pretty quickly. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. <clears throat> it's been an absolutely wild episode. Absolutely wild. UK. Ah. Well, out of this peace deal, I want to make sure that we can get that, but I want maybe Israel to be formed, maybe? Maybe not? Let's see if we can move these guys around fast enough. Cruisers, finally are being made. Can't catch us. Nice. <sighs> it's beautiful, isn't it? It's so good. 98% of our population can read. Come back to Beirut just in case. Oh god, we called in the Russians. Oh yes. Oh yes, please. Zemilio. Zemilio. Too bad I don't care. So have a population of around 230 million. Nice. Fine. Let's grab some naval directionism. That'd be good. Ooh, trying to pop my back. Alright, battleship hole. Hopefully that'll help you live for a little bit longer. Montenegro. Uh, sure, Montenegro. I don't really care about Montenegro too much. So, they're done. And... Wow. We're still the third largest power in Europe. Wait, we lost on defense. How? We're defending. How? I'm going to leave it up to the Russians to deal with them. I'm going to dismantle Rush the Ottoman Empire then. So be it. They made their call. we got to make ours, right? One, two, three, one. Hey, we need some engineers. That's all right, though, for now. Uh, that's five. One, two, three, four. We're going to need that another engineer here. Man, you can tell the game's lagging so hard. More infantry. Just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of infantry. And ships. Definitely ships. Oh, look at that. Nice. All we need to do is sneak over a few boys, and the war should be over. But really, I guess we have to take out the uh, Ottomans first. Yeah. I really wish we had a bigger population. We could do more with a core, a greater core population here. But hey, I love Russia. Russia and me, we're like best buddies. War of Ottoman Submission. Uh, where is it? Oh, look at that. Oh, we're still down here. I forgot about that. Well, we just got off more British boys. Good, 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 good. I don't want to leave the hills or mountains, so we're just going to sit, keep them there for now. So, uh, For you guys. Well, I don't care about infamy right now. How do we get more infamy? Huh. Free allied cores. Greece and Serbia. No, I don't like Serbia because they're at war with us. 
Reparations, dismantle, place in the sun, free people, liberated country. Oh, we could live oh, Assyria? That'd be kind of funny. Ooh. Hmm. Israel, you say? But that's 11 infamy. Why is it so much? Reparations, take a puppet. Eh. That's 12 and a half infamy? Are you kidding me? Humiliate. I'll just take reparations. You're gonna pay us, you piece of garbage. All they wanted was peace. And then they said no. So I said, okay, we're going to burn everything down to the ground using either we do or our ally will. Can we sneak over here quick enough, maybe? Maybe not. Yeah, if I was a Dutch, I'd break their, I'd break my alliance with them too. Oh, God, Russia. Awesome. Danubian Federation. Oh. oh, we lost the ship, probably. God dang it. Or not. Okay, just retreat here. That's fine. Oh, it's Ottoman ships. Yeah, French ships suck. Like, I don't understand, like, why our ships are just, just god-awful like this. Hmm, I wouldn't say that's too significant. You broke the alliance, didn't you? Well, at least Germans have been fully sieged out. That's nice. And the Ottomans just... They might have killed the French army. And the French are so weak, man. I, I did everything I can for them, but it's still not enough. You can have my colonies. Okay, no one cares about the colonies right now. Now we need one more thing of... Uh, actually, we need one more... Infantry here. Why are there so many communists? I think HPM. I don't know. Like something's wrong about HPM. Where they just love socialists and communists. It's a bit extreme, I would say, in my mind. Because I think I'm on HPM 0.4.6. There's just a bit few too many commies. Like to make sense here. Like everyone is a communist. Yeah, I get we got a lot of socialists here, but those are they're socialists, not communists. No, I don't even want to read that. Switzerland. Hello, Switzerland. Hey, the second largest industry in the world because Germany's probably dropping in rank, probably. Uh, where? Oh, look at that. 86. Nice. Uh, 382. It's just going to keep dropping. If I remember correctly, if you fully siege them out, then they just keep losing more industry. 382. Hopefully it'll be dropped. Well, we'll come back to that later on. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, Rebels. Oh, they're down here. Uh, I'm kind of okay with that then. You guys can deal with that. They'll be more than fine with that. If we have Rebels, then I'll let the other people care about that stuff, I guess. Actually, you might be able to do well down there. The Emirates. The General's dead, but... Oh, who cares if it's over here then? <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. Hey, more hole. Good. Qingdao. Oh, we're still holding on Qingdao, though. That's kind of nice. Um, I don't think we can get up there. You know, might as well try it, right? Might as well try it. Hello, Serbia. No. Uh, demand reparations. I want to see you die, Ottoman Empire. How dare you rise up against us? Like, for realsies. You know what? No. I don't care that increases militarism or in our country. I don't care. Full siege him down. Full siege him down. When at, in our moment of weakness, they wanted to do this to us? I don't think so, you son of a gun. Good. Ah, oh, dreadnought's good. Are we still making ships here? No, which is a big no-no. More dreadnoughts. France will rule the waves by the time we're done here. And Kane, Khan, more cruisers, and abreast, just tons of troop ships. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. Oh, we lost the battle over there. Eh, it's fine, whatever. 
I don't know, like it's in Asia. Mm, let's see. One, two, three, four. Do we have any engineers? Five, good. One, two. Now two, three, four, or five. Another army. Very nice. Serbia, you're gonna have to burn. But you're not burning hard enough. Repay debts. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, nice. Full siege up the Ottomans. Yeah, well, I think it's pretty laggy. We're first in prestige, second in industry, second in military power, even though we've lost almost all of our army and our navy. So, um, they go bankrupt. If we're not gonna, no, no. Oh, look at that. But regardless, I think I'm going to end the episode here. Tomorrow, we will begin anew looking at what will happen in the PCO. Because I'm going to keep playing this until, like, these guys give up. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. It's been a little wild. It's been a little crazy. But, hey, that's what we play 52 for, right? But, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we shall see the PCO where we have a completely shattered Germany or to the best of our abilities as well as the UK. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.